this is a brand new coach. Stay with us the whole show. We're gonna go through this brand new Marathon Quad, the new H3 from Prevo, built into a Marathon Quad. It's amazing, you guys. Coach 1386. So we're gonna see some amazing things in this coach. But first, let's look at the exterior. So we're gonna start back here on the back end of 1386 because it really has a beautiful mural um, per the request and design of the owners. Look at that. The Utah Arches National Park represented on the back of 1386. And one of the things that, there's two things on the back side of here other than that mural that I really like. The uh, Chrome Prevo letters look beautiful and that Marathon Coach logo offset off to the right. So it's still represented and it doesn't take away from that mural. But quad slide, as you can see, I also like how we continued the design of the coach through the slide outs. It's just a stunning, stunning coach. The outside is impressive, but wait till you see the inside. It is, uh, it is something else. Bays are all uh, set up for the customer. So they've got slide out trays in the bays. We got docking lights, as you can see, all lit up. Five on each side, that's fantastic. And the depth of color in this red is really beautiful. It might not show up on camera as well as it shows up in person. And another thing is this coach is gonna get washed and detailed one more time before delivery happens later this week. I'm gonna shut this door and reopen it because I love our indirect lighting that is on the stairwell, around the, around the door, the entry door. All that indirect lighting into the cockpit of 1386, these seats are one of my favorite things that we've done. They are an all black ventilated, meaning cooled, or ventilated and heated seats. And they are against the white and gray of this cockpit. It is just beautiful. One thing that I wanted to show that sometimes I don't show when I talk about the new H3 cockpit is what's going on over here for the co-pilot. So you've got all the controls here. You've got uh, basically ventilation right here and, and your fan controls right here on a toggle switch. But look at this, boom. You've got a mirror that is backlit. How cool is that? You've got a vanity mirror that's backlit and you've got glass compartment right there. You could also put something else in there, but for the most part, I believe it's for glasses, but it's a really cool compartment that's backlit, which is nice. And then, you know how we used to have those rubber duck things that would come down for your map light? It's now a recessed light right here. Isn't that great? And it actually shines out this way so you can read here and it is right there with the push of a button. You can either hold it in or just hold it. Cool, huh? Just look around the salon of this coach. 1386 is, I asked Alan Christensen this morning, how would he describe it? Modern farmhouse. And that is exactly the way I thought of this coach as we were building it. Modern farmhouse. It's just, oh, look at this backsplash, you guys. Look at the backsplash over here. If you're gonna cover those windows, do it with that. Look how beautiful that is. And I love how we did the uppers on here. It's just beautiful. Look at that. The poles in here, the flooring. Just take some time to look around and everybody Everybody asks me if we if we do the dinette on the curbside. That's that's exactly what you see in this coach. Now you know this is my favorite floor plan, you guys. The quad slide super bath is the most versatile RV floor plan ever built, and it's built by Marathon. 
Wait till we get all the way through this coach. There's so much. I love the floor. I love the ceiling. Tons of storage throughout. That beautiful two-tone. You've got gray walls. These are like a flat white or cream colored cabinetry. And that cream against the gray is just really beautiful. Gosh, this is, this is cool. Kitchen closed, kitchen open. What a cute sign. We'll, we'll do closed until the owners get here. Okay. Oh, that's funny. Let's make reference to this. There's no place like home. And of course, that's the Wicked Witch of the East who got smashed by the house early in the Wizard of Oz. Beautiful. Pantry door. That light goes out. And bam, massive storage. I love it. So you've got the oven down here. And as you guys know, with the Appliance Dream Center, historically, what you see in that Appliance Dream Center is storage above. And then you've got coffee, the steam oven, which is that guy right there, and then a wine cooler or a small refrigerator at the bottom. Because it's so versatile, you can delete whatever you want or add whatever you want. So you've got storage below that oven, and that's a steam and a convection oven down there. You've got four pullouts that add for a lot of space. That's great. And there's electrical back there. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle's pointing out there's electrical back there. Um, so you could actually add an appliance in uh, a Keurig comes to uh, mind or a can opener, anything that you want to put back there. It's fantastic. Plus, you've got these pullouts for smaller items, whether it be uh, like canned goods or what have you. So you got four up top and I believe two down the bottom. Beautiful. And it's all behind the pantry door or what uh, a lot of you know as the Appliance Dream Center. And of course, that's a backlit feature that can go on and off. And it can also be dimmed. Beautiful. Fisher Paykel refrigerator freezer. We won't get too far into it. You guys know I'm a big fan of it, uh, not only because of how much room there is in it, but how bright it is. I'm a big fan of lighting in your refrigerator. And then uh, we'll look at this when we get in here, but this is a um, closet that actually is part of that bedroom suite. Take a look at the half bath here. More of that modern farmhouse backsplash and that, gosh, that's a nice fabric wall right there. Isn't that nice? Our flooring department, once again, knocked it out. There's a couple of coaches right now that I'm really excited about. 1387 and 1386s shower is, the tile work in there is beautiful. But look at the flooring in 1386. It's just perfect for the whole motif of this coach. I don't want to um, underplay Alan Christensen and his work in this coach. Our design team, um, Jamie, Alan, Santara, they just do an amazing job at really capti captivating what the customer wants, working with the customer. And as you can see, the bed is all the way down right now. Um, and if you articulate the bed up where it's sitting up, it'll create about, about a foot, maybe a little bit more, maybe 13, 14 inches of additional space, walking space here in the bedroom of this quad slide coach. Now, uh, Marathon's, Marathon's floor plans are very, very good. This is my favorite floor plan. You guys know that. One of the things I really appreciate that the owners of 1386 did with our engineering team is they didn't do a sofa over here. The sofa is pretty. However, I prefer, and that's this is my preference, all this storage. Now, look at how much space is here in the counter, okay? If I put my hand here, you can see that this is about 16 inches across. You're gonna get that in these drawers, and you've got 
ton of them. You got four of the drawers and then you've got the fold outs like this. And you still have this bench to sit here, get dressed, get ready, set things out. So you're achieving both things. You've got the bench to sit down, put your shoes on if you'd like, or to just sit down while you're getting ready in the morning. Storage here, storage here, 50 inch uh, smart. This is gonna be another closet with a check me mirror, as my man Richard Lawrence would say. And also that lit bar that you'll see throughout Marathon Coaches, we really appreciate that because when the um, doors close, that light goes out, but the LEDs come on when that door is open. And that's a really nice way to illuminate the closets. And of course, inside these closets, you've got power outlets. Power outlets inside, which is cool. I'm actually gonna pivot around you right now, Michelle, and show everybody this closet here. Tons of storage in here. Once again, the light bar there, but also really nice drawers. I don't know, you guys. One of the things, you know, uh, as a salesman, I don't, I don't live or spend a lot of time sleeping and storing items in closets. But one of the things that I hear all the time from owners is storage is the most important thing, just as important as the engineering of the plumbing, the engineering of the air conditioning, the lighting and everything. Storage is important. So we spend a lot of time at Marathon getting creative with where to put storage and how to, as I've said many times, take advantage of space, okay? Utilization of space is so important when it comes to a floor plan. Look how big that is. You got three of them. Isn't that pretty? And if you can get a good shot of this, one of the things that we show a lot is the quality and beauty of those drawers. Dovetail bamboo, locally made here in Oregon, and on the other side, it's got a Marathon logo embossed. And it's kind of hard to see. Michelle's going to get creative. Yep, look at that. Bam. Camera work right there, my people. So you got closet. You got closet. You got closet. Okay? Tons and tons of room. King size bed. What, uh, yeah, you still have spot to hold, you know, your phone or jewelry or little things that you might need in here. Take a look at the sconce lights and all of that natural light window that is over that. Isn't that something? Alan's decor is just beautiful. I love it. Gosh. Well, let's get to my favorite part of this floor plan. The super bath. Okay. The super bath uh, started about three years ago. I, th I believe um, 1296. I had to think about it for a second how to say it. 1296 was the first super bath floor plan that Marathon had. It's about three years ago, and it was really a game changer. You've got two slides in the front, two, two slides in the front, two slides in the back, and then in the rear, and we've seen it in a shell, you've got all kinds of things that you really need for a rear bath to be called a super bath. You've got the double vanities here. Now take a look at what Alan and the owners have done with this with the style in here. It's just, everything comes together so well. And I'm not talking about decor here. I'm talking about the choice of laminates, the choice of poles. Everything in this coach just ties together in what we are referring to, as you know now, as modern farmhouse. Sconce lights, let's turn those guys on. Look at that. With those old timey, bulbs in there how pretty is that very cool another thing that stands out plugs inside here with a recessed indentation so that appliances can come through you can plug it in and you can still close look at how the mirror is framed in this coach it's not just in here but it's also in the other half bath it definitely fits the motif 
of this farmhouse situation. All right, let's look at this shower. Take a look at how pretty that entire fixture is in the shower of 1386. The shower head is black and white, and it's got the old farm style, hot and cold font. I mean, everything was sourced properly for this coach. The details are, in, look at that, a black, okay, yeah, Michelle's showing the black and white rain, uh, rain shower head up there. It's not just one color, it fits the entire motif of being dual colored. Little shower ledge down there for, for shaving. Beautiful. Thank you, Michelle, for getting that shot. That was great. I'm going to shut this just so we don't... There we go. Okay. Now, here we are in the, ha in the super bath. Take a look at this. This is another thing I really like. The, the towel holders back here actually pull out so you can hang them and then store them. But you got a hanger here. You got hangers all over. But you pull this one, washer dryer behind the commode. You've seen it before on Marathon Mondays, but I'm just a really big fan of putting those stacking ASCOs, the washer dryer full size behind the commode. And people will come through these coaches at shows or at RV parks and they'll, where's the, where's the washer dryer? Where's the washer dryer? In the super bath behind the commode, it's wonderful. Now, let's say you're a couple that doesn't want to have a washer dryer. Big closet big closet you guys and so a lot of times you'll see prior to a coach selling this one of course is delivering later this week and the customers wanted the stacking asco washer dryer full size in here but if you don't want that you can do an amazing large closet back there tons of storage if you don't have those me personally i want i want to wash my clothes <laughs> and then when you think it's all over and you got heated floors throughout this whole coach look what i got here an additional closet in the rear of this coach. Just when you think the super bath is over, you've got more closet space, a four foot hanger bar in the back. And of course you've got hampers, more towels here, the hanger bar, and you can all close it off. Isn't that great? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we're gonna close the bath door and then I'll show that privacy glass. The liquid crystal technology is too cool. I'm a big fan of this. There's so many cool parts of the super bath that make it uh, the best floor plan that, that's ever been created, in my opinion. And I like how you can close off that closet. Or to add additional, I'm gonna turn that light off. To uh, add additional dimension to that room, you can, have, you can keep that open and the floor extends all the way through. Beautiful. Lots of closets in here. Lots of storage. Lots of mirrors. Real pretty. And what a nice, comfortable feel out here. It's just such a clean, clean coach. Gosh. Well done, and I see Alan's elephant in the room. So um, that's Coach 1386, you guys. What a beautiful coach. TV over the cockpit, TV over the driver's side salon over here. And of course, as you know, it pulls out so that people over here can also watch. Um, a big congratulations to everybody at Marathon that came together to build Coach 1386. Um, it never gets old for me to be able to show these coaches Every coach has its own identity, and I think you see that in 1386. With that being said, congratulations to everybody from the new owners to the people here at Marathon that built this coach. 1386 is a home run uh, in that modern farmhouse style. Be yourself and do good things. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and um, we'll see you next week. I got more for you next week. You know that's right.